Thanksgiving provokes increase. You, 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 you see certain people, it looks as if God is biased towards them. There's something they know. Every time, time a man begins to give thanks and give thanks consciously, he opens many channels and many tributaries. Even the economists know that one stream of income is not guaranteed. When you find a man who is established, he has many streams of income. The spiritual way of engendering many streams is through thanksgiving. In Acts chapter 2 verse 47, see what the apostles did. They wanted increase. They wanted expansion. They wanted breakthrough. And unfortunately, Jesus was gone. There's nobody to prophesy over them. You know, when you are somebody who is pastor's boy, or prophet's son, or apostle's disciple, all the time, everything about your life, you want him to prophesy. The day God makes you a leader, you will now understand that that channel you were using is for children. Because him, who will prophesy for WF Kumuyi now? Who will lay hands on him? Who will now come and look at Pastor E. Adeboe and lay hands on him and say, every month, I lay hands on you? Such people are no more. So they need to know something that works beyond laying on of hands. And that is the place the apostles were. They were direct disciples of Jesus. Now Jesus is gone. There's no senior apostle to lay hands on them. There's nobody to prophesy over them. They needed technologies of the spirit that we make for sustenance of what was happening when Jesus was with them. Remember, when Jesus was with them, everywhere they went, there was multitude. There was increase. Now Jesus is no more. Nobody knows them. And they need to sustain that level of multitude. The Bible said, as they gathered together, they praised God and gave thanks. And he said daily, God added to the church such as should be saved. So when you came into their congregation, you couldn't tell the difference between when Jesus was present in the body and when Jesus was absent in the body. Because they had built a technology that caused Jesus to be walking with them as though he was still present. He had bodily gone to heaven, but the impact remained. And the way they sustained that impact of extraordinary increase was through thanksgiving. As they gave thanks, they kept increasing. As they gave thanks, they kept increasing. Every time a man gives thanks, he makes himself a candidate of ever-increasing breakthroughs. There is something that makes a man to keep becoming bigger and bigger. The name is thanksgiving. Jesus himself, in John chapter 6 verse 11, he had taught for three days. They were in the wilderness. There's no company that can provide resources. There was no money anywhere to buy it. And even if the money was there, you couldn't generate food enough for five million men. How do you start? Five thousand men. Which company can produce that emergency bread? But Jesus knew a technology. The Bible said he lifted up his hands. When they gave him five loaves and two fish, he lifted up his hands and he said he thanked the Father. When he was done thanking the father, he gave them the bread. He said, distribute it. And they will break it. It will multiply. They will break it. It will multiply. This is why the apostles knew that when we thank God, we are provoking multiplication. Because the miracle for the first time didn't happen in the hands of Jesus. They were used to seeing the miracle in the hands of Jesus. Now in their own very hands, the miracle was happening. What did Jesus do that made the miracle to start happening with everybody? He gave thanks. And so when you want to see what is happening with you, replicated across board, start giving thanks. The more people give thanks, the more multiplication becomes a natural product in their life. And this is not just about material things, even in spiritual things. Go for a meeting and thank God and see what he does. Then go back the next day. You will go back the next day dry, empty, because they've drawn from you. But many times you'll be amazed that the second day after giving thanks is when you have greater results. Because when you give thanks, you provoke multiplication. You may have one business begin to give thanks and you will wonder the level of wisdom that will come to you. And in one month, two months, three months, you open three, four other businesses. And people are wondering, how are you doing it? I am thanking God. It looks weak, but this is where the powers of the kingdom are invested. If, I if you look at believers who are dry, I can tell you many times the reason is because there's no thanksgiving in their lives. When you start thanking God from nothing, something can be created. And if you have something already, it can easily be multiplied. Thanksgiving is a multiplier in this kingdom. This is why wise men 
I have always flooded with thanksgiving. In Jeremiah 30 verse 19, it says, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice that makes merry. And he said, And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. And I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. I will multiply them. They shall not be few. I will glorify them. They shall not be small. What increases men, both quantitatively and qualitatively, is thanksgiving. Greatness is qualitative increase. Multitude is quantitative increase. Both of them engendered by thanksgiving. If they will thank me, I will multiply them. I will increase them. I will make them great. It's a secret in the kingdom 